Hey there, Industrialist Cougar here, checking in on Rise of Industry from Dapper Penguin Studios. The game is still in early access, but not for much longer. The devs have set a May 2nd release date for the game coming out of early access. But they're careful to point out that that does not mean that the game is finished at that point. They will still be doing work on the game. They will still be adding stuff, lots of interesting stuff to the game. Um, new industries, new shops, new raw materials. They're going to be adding seasons. They're going to be adding a day-night cycle. They're going to be adding pedestrians in your towns to make them feel a little bit more lived in. All of which is great, but I'm excited for the final release coming soon. Uh, the devs did just pu recently push an update, which added two major gameplay mechanics that I wanted to talk with you about today. Traffic and pollution. Now, pol <laughs> and the two of them are tied together a little bit, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But, yeah, let's start with pollution. Let me get out of free cam mode and get back to our regular mode. Now, I'm going to talk, we're not going to do a lot of actual gameplay here. I just want to talk about the new additions, uh, but we will have some time to kill in just a minute uh, after I remove my air, my pollution fighting uh, buildings. So let's take a look over here where we've got a lot of heavy industry going on. We've got a bunch of smelters, glassworks and smelters. Oops, I've got the UI turned off, standby. We've got a bunch of glassworks and smelters turning out concrete, glass panes. The glass panes are being turned into glass tubes that are being sold in town. We're making some uh, ink up here from coal and water, etc., etc. All of this is turning out a bunch of pollution. Fortunately, we have an air purifier here. The air purifier runs on water. You bring water to it, and it uses the water to clean the air and keep pollution in check. We've also got over here a water treatment plant. Pollution spreads faster on water, so you gotta make sure that you're treating your water as well to keep the pollution away. But what we're gonna do is, just to demonstrate how the pollution works a little bit, is we're gonna just destroy, we're gonna demolish all of our pollution fighting buildings here. Demolish that treatment plant, that air purification plant. We're going to demolish this air purification plant. We are going to demolish, let's see, I've got some more industry going over here with uh, an air purifier running. Let's demolish that one too. And if we speed up time, we will see that this pollution over time is going to get really, really, really bad. If the pollution gets bad enough, it will kill a town. So if this pollution spreads here across the water and reaches these buildings over here, nobody's going to want to live here. These buildings will shut down. And if the pollution continues to creep into town, it can kill this entire town. And all of your lines that you've got set up selling stuff to Eldara uh, will be useless, will become pointless. So you've got to keep an eye on that pollution. Uh, over here, now I recently put down some, some potato chip factories here and did not address any pollution with them. You can see that the, the, the trees here are already suffering a little bit. Now, living trees will help fight pollution. So I've actually planted trees around some of these buildings to help. But if the pollution gets too bad, it will kill the trees. And these trees will not really grow back on their own, even if you address this pollution. I mean, I, I think they will but it takes a long, long time. So we got to keep an eye on that. The other thing that has been added is traffic. I'm just going to slow this back down a little bit here. Traffic with the addition of one-way roads to create highways. Now, if we look at an actual urban road here, you see that it's two lanes, one going one way, one going the other way. But what we've got with the one-way roads is two lanes going in one direction and two lanes going the other direction for four lanes versus two, right? So that is definitely an improvement. Your warehouses here, you'll see, are, are going to be the choke points. They are for me anyway. This is where you're going to see the most traffic, and the traffic is going to become a bigger problem. Uh, they're going to be introducing an overlay that shows you traffic density. It's not in the game yet, but there will be soon. And with the... So 
you can lay down these, these one-way roads to make big highways. In fact, it looks like I've got a problem here where I don't have an urban road stretched across here to give the trucks an opportunity to get into this left lane. They're having to go all the way out and loop around. So I'm just going to lay a, a urban road here to kind of demonstrate that you need these urban roads mixed in with the one-way roads to give your traffic more options for travel. But see, okay, so we've already got a little traffic jam going here. Uh, this truck apparently wants to turn right and is not able to, and he's just kind of stuck there. If something is stuck for too long, oh, I see, it's, it's a, it's a one-way road coming down into a or a one-way road coming down into an urban road, and it, it's not having an easy time doing it. As I was saying, if a truck gets stuck for too long, it becomes this ghost truck, and it will make it to its destination. It'll just make it there really, really slowly. But it won't stay stuck forever. And the, uh, the computer, the game is keeping track of how often that happens, and if you, you can't abuse it. If you start to abuse it, bad things are going to start to happen. So you want to keep an eye on your traffic and keep your traffic uh, flowing smoothly. I am not really that up to speed. This is my first game with the new one-way roads, so I'm not uh, an expert. I can't really offer you any good tips on your road layouts here. Uh, what I can do is tell you that when you first start setting up, see now I set all this stuff up before this is the first game with the traffic in it and before I really understood how the traffic worked. So I've got these industries packed up really tightly close to this urban road, giving us no room to expand. So one thing you will want to do is make sure that you're building with enough space to expand when you first start building. You want to make sure that you can eventually put down some one-way roads there to ease the traffic congestion. Let's check in on our pollution situation. Oh yeah, it's starting to get pretty bad over here. You see all the trees are dying. And it is spreading out into the water. And eventually, you can see right now it's about at the highway bridge. If we speed this up and then go do something else for a minute and come back, you'll see that it will have progressed up past the highway bridge and it will be heading downstream as well. So it, it spreads really quickly over water and you got to keep an eye on that. And again, if it reaches any of these houses here, uh, nobody's going to want to live here. These houses are going to shut down. And if it continu continues to expand all the way into town, the whole town's going to die. And we don't want that. Uh, now, we're just going to give this a little, a couple of minutes to run and, and generate even more pr uh, pollution. Uh, so why don't I just kind of give you an overview of, of what we got going on. Up here in the north, we've got a food production type area. Maybe we can do this in the free cam, make it a little bit more interesting. So up here in the north, we've got a food production going on. We've got two water siphons over here on the water that are bringing in water and distributing it to these farms. We've also got a new water, um, water tower. This is a water tower that is automatically distributing water to uh, nearby farms without using trucks. It uses invisible underground pipe networks that you don't have to worry about. Those are all just kind of behind the scenes. But, oh, I didn't destroy. We've got a, a pollution treatment facility here that I did not destroy. So this, this is all going to stay relatively clean up here. Uh, but So we've got water that's being distributed to the farms. We're growing potatoes over here. We've got olive olive orchards over here. The olives are being turned into olive oil that are being used combined with the potatoes and paper to make bags of potato chips that are being sold in town. Over here we've got apple orchards that are being combined with water to make apple smoothies that are being sold in town. We've got orange orchards. The oranges are being combined with water to make orange juice that's being sold in town. We've got wheat fields here. The wheat is, right now it's just being turned into flour. Eventually it'll be making dough for us. And then we've got uh, vegetable fields over here. The vegetables are being combined with water to make soup, vegetable soup that is being sold in town. Delicious vegetable soup. Look at how nice these all look now. I think this is the water, is that the water facility? Yeah. 
No, I'm not really sure. No, that's a beverage facility. That's what that is. Uh, sorry, we've got an autosave going on here. I meant to disable these so this didn't happen, and I forgot. Yeah, so food production going on up here, and then over here, as you've seen, we've got our industrial production going on. I'm making glass, I'm making uh, ink, I'm making glass tubes, and I think I'm making some other glass products up here. I forget exactly what they are. But you see that the pollution is starting to get pretty bad over here. If we get right down on ground level, in fact, if we back up, you can, you can see it pretty clearly. Look at that. Look at the smog over there. It looks bad. I mean, it looks amazing. It's what it looks from a graphics standpoint. It looks fantastic. But it's not good for our trees. Our trees are all dying. Over here, oh, this is even worse. Over here, what we've got going on is um, steel production. And I've got an iron ore mine here. That iron ore mine is being combined with coal that is being shipped via boat from up here. So we've got a coal mine here. The coal is being sent to the warehouse where it's then being distributed to this dock over here. In fact, we got some trucks going to pick up coal right now. We should see some boats come out in just a second. These boats are going to carry big shipments of coal all the way down here to this other boat dock. I've upgraded the capacity of these ships. They can carry a lot of coal now. And then the coal is brought over here to the warehouse and then it is distributed to my smelters to make steel. The steel is being turned into cans, aluminum cans, that are then being sold at a hardware store in town or a construction goods store in town. This is another iron ore mine that's also churning out a bunch of pollution, but it's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. It's not really bothered. The pollution isn't really bothering anyone yet. It may at some point, in which case we're going to have to deal with it. Oh, look at the pollution over there, off in the distance. Wow. Yeah, so let's check in on this. It is has spread a little bit beyond the highway bridge, and it is spreading farther downstream. So got to watch out for that pollution. Some other things that have been added, while we, while we let that run and let the pollution, let it turn out even more pollution, let me just show you something really quick, something else that was added recently, not in this last update, but uh, since the last time I talked to you guys, let me get out of free cam here, whoops, and go into the production overview, upper right hand corner. Click on that, click on the last 12 months, and then click on our let's say our tier one products here. So it, it was hard to figure out what was profitable and what was not before they revamped this screen. Now it's really easy to tell what's being profit, what's really profitable for you and what's not so profitable for you. So here at the top, we've got our Apple smoothies. We pulled in uh, about $2 million worth of profit from those last year at a profit margin of 270%, which is a good profit margin. Uh, the flour that we're just selling raw right now because I haven't set up my dough production, it pulled in $2 million as well. That uh, at a profit margin of 240%. Our heavy pulp production uh, at another town, at, at the town of Glen. Vale, not one of the towns that we looked at just now, pulled in $5 million last year. I think I said month for these, but it's over the course of a year. $5 million last year at a 338% profit margin. Lots of money to be made in heavy pulp at that particular town. Uh, $2.5 million last year from ink sales, $2.7 million last year from selling orange juice, and the paper rolls, half of them are being sold in town uh, just as paper rolls. The other half are being shipped down to my paper, my potato chip factory to make bags of potato chips. $2.5 million from soup, $2.2 million from wooden planks, uh, $780,000 from olive oil, but again, only some of that is being sold as olive oil, the rest of it is going to my potato chip factory to make potato chips. And then 1.9 million from the concrete at a 265% uh, profit margin. So much easier for you to identify which of your industries are making you a good profit and which are, are not really doing that well. Our chips up here as a tier two product, our bag of chips that are is made with potatoes, olive oil, and paper. Uh, 
brought in $3.7 million last year at a profit margin of 288%. So very useful. This screen's very useful now. It didn't used to be this useful, but it is now. All right, let's check in on our pollution situation here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad, but what I'm not seeing yet is it's it has not reached any of the town. Uh, I think that we just don't have quite enough pollution being turned out for it to spread up to the town yet. But take my word for it. Once it reaches these houses, these houses will shut down. And if it continues to push into town, all of these houses will shut down to the point where the entire town dies. And you're, you've lost all your lines, all your investment in setting up lines to provide that town. Um, I think that's kind of going to do it for this. I just wanted to touch on some of the important new stuff that was added in the, next, in the last update and give you a heads up on the impending full release on May 2nd. So thanks for watching, everybody. Keep that pollution in check. Keep your traffic rolling quickly and smoothly, and you will be making a good profit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay profitable and stay environmentally friendly, industrialists.